In Sacramento's River District, the Public Spaces team fosters community and transformation, where property and business owners work together with local government agencies to fight homelessness and addiction. Team members who have formerly experienced homelessness or addiction work to rebuild their lives with the help of the Public Spaces program. I'm Jesse Inigas. I'm the supervisor of the uh, River District Clean Team. I had my own business for two and a half years. And due to drugs and alcohol, I lost my business. And that's when I became homeless. And I was homeless for three years. When I lost my business, um, I was very embarrassed. Uh, I let my grandparents down, I let my uncles down. And that's probably one of the reasons why I started increasing using drugs and stuff like that, just to push the uh, thoughts to the back of my head each day. And that's what drugs did for me. You know, it just took me down, down, down. Team members clean streets, remove abandoned items, and provide general maintenance within the district boundaries while working under the direction of the public spaces manager who guides them and holds them accountable on their path to stability. I'm Chris Evans. I'm the public spaces manager for the River District, PBID. My job really is I'm a miner. I'm a miner. I'm looking for that diamond in the rough. You know, many times with the homeless situation we're in here in California where we have more than half the nation's homeless, um, people are always saying to them, you know, get a job. They'll see somebody panting and say, get a job. Well, these are the people that have decided to get a job. And so my job is to be a miner and find those people. Find that diamond in the rough that we can bring into the program. We can work with a caseworker, bring them into this program, and over a period of time, restore them to full-time employment and help them regain their life. While the challenges on the streets and the personal obstacles team members face on a daily basis are considerable, they constantly rise to the occasion and celebrate each success together. The River District program, it's helped me do so much in my life. I, would, I wouldn't be able to do the drunk driving classes because I had to pay for those, you know, and I wouldn't be able to get my license back. I've learned so much for Chris. Chris has actually taken me underneath his wing and kind of guided me through a lot of this and showed me how to do many things and showed me how to be in charge of people and do the right thing. I could call Devin in a drop of a hat and, you know, he's always responded to me and it's great to have somebody like that. We're really family oriented here and I've only worked at, I'd say, two jobs like this you know, where we could go actually go to the boss and, you know, have uh, something to say to him and get some feedback or let him know that something's wrong and they always have my back. Team members participate in community events, develop maintenance programs for the district, and study crime prevention through environmental design. While helping keep the district clean and safe, Team members work towards their goal of permanent housing and their chosen careers. What I like best about my days here is it keeps me busy all day long. You know, I'm not, I don't have the opportunity to get into any trouble. It's, it's straightforward, you know, and it it's makes sense. I'm doing something progressive for my life. I'm moving forward. The board of directors of this district, when they decided to make this investment, they decided instead of investing just in maintenance, they were going to invest in restoring lives as well. And this has caught on. I recently had an opportunity to do a presentation uh, to a, a national group in crime prevention in Florida, and immediately we got inquiries from all over the country saying, you know, this makes so much sense. How do we expand this? It's going to grow here locally. We're already expanded to a, a couple of P bids are supporting this type of program. And I think nationally, you're going to see this type of program grow a, a lot um, because it makes sense. So that's, that's what I see for the future. I see, I see growth, and I see opportunity, and I see us helping more and more people, which is really uh, a, a cool thing to be in, a, a, a place that I really want to be part of, something I want to do. They have received the Award of Excellence from the International Downtown Association, as well as a resolution of recognition from the city of Sacramento. The River District's public spaces team is not just changing people's perceptions of the River District, it is changing lives. It's just a privilege, it's, a, it's an honor watching these people grow and grow and grow. It really, I mean, makes my heart, really, <laughs> pound hard. And it's interesting that sometimes the people that we think are the lowest amongst us, the people who are sitting on the corner and they're, and then you get to know them a little bit and you find out, man, they're really, really good people. They just had some really bad luck, made some really bad decisions, 
and they've got to change that, but they can. They can change that, and when they do, we need to be there to help them.